afternoon guys well thank you so much for your lovely comments and support we did after our first video um i saw a lot of people wandering around the garden center this weekend particularly in the in the sunshine um and i had some nice comments so we appreciate it so uh going forward we were talking that we we're going to do groups so today we're going to talk about spring bulbs and talk a little bit about some of the questions we get on them um and how to plant them and what you do with them so first of all, if you were trying to come in and buy a daffodil bulb, you are too late. Um, when you're going to do the bulbs, you plant them in the autumn. So these spring bulbs, you'll actually plant in a bulb out in the autumn. But fortunately, what we have done and some of our nurseries have done has already planted them for you. So you already get them coming through on the pot. You're planting them roughly the same as you'd plant the bulbs anyway. So it's not too much of a difference. Now, and neutral soils don't like it too wet and you tend to do it like three times the depth of the bulb um, so if you have a five centimeter bulb you're going 15 centimeters um, etc it's easy enough to work out and if you do have wet soil think about putting them maybe in containers you know, spring bulbs are brilliant they'll come for every year most of them and they look great so a container is not something that you don't have to you know you can consider and use um, i'm going to show you a couple of the ones that we've got in stock now these are our nine centimeters ones these are all five for a tenors and you have beautiful ones coming up which is basically just indicating spring so you've got crocuses irises we've got a lot of daffodils but they're over on the far side and we'll show you them through um i'll wander over there i can't do the um reverse the camera my staff told me i've got to learn to flip it around but i haven't been able to do that yet so we've got these ones in one liters and they're all going down there i just want to show you these the little tete -tet -tet daffodils now you get quite a few different varieties of daffodils but tete -tet are one of my favorites and they're actually quite a smaller version than what you see of some of the others but if you see some of them i've got triple heads on so you get single heads and you get a triple head or you get the fritillas next to them or snake head plants they're really cool i've got a bowl of them in my garden they just keep coming back year after year i just have them on the decking nice and easy to look after so you don't have to worry about too much of them people get a bit worried about oh it's they're coming up too early but the great thing about these bulbs they're actually pretty adaptive so if they start coming up and it gets cold they just slow right back down again so if you want them already pre-grown which we've done you can get them now from us um three times the depth of the bulb pretty much will be there on the pot you'll be able to see it and you can put them in daffodils if you want to move them or you do anything with them, what you do is you let them die down. Now you don't have to touch them. So let the leaves die down. And when they've died right down, then that's when you can move them. So the head's gone, they've gone down, and that's when you can move them around. You don't need to do it that often, maybe every three or five years when you've got a big clump of them. Um, but what people forget to do is when they are died down, so when the leaves have gone, you've got to keep feeding and watering them because that's where the bulbs are storing their energy ready for next year. Some people over winter might put a little bit of mulch on the top of them, but you don't have to worry too much. Um, but again the spring bulbs are pretty hardy so there's all sorts of different varieties we've got some snowdrops in now snowdrops when you're replanting them are actually a little bit different you do them in green so let them come through and just as the flowers starting to finish that's when you'll replant them that's when you'll move them so you get a big clump of them and you can move them around so that's why snowdrops are brilliant and they go in them big huge clumps but you can spread them around quite easily so that's something that you can consider with them tulips are a little bit different their first season tends to be their best but we've got lots of different varieties on them so if you come down you can actually have a read through and see which ones you'd like to do but again never be afraid to use pots and you can use these in layering systems and also in timing systems so ones that will come through slightly sooner ones that will come through slightly later so if we're doing any garden design we tend to use bulbs right at the front the spring bulbs right at the front of the garden because they are initial first layer so then you'll sort of go up in layers but the great thing about them if you've got any perennials that are not doing anything at the minute you can dot them around your garden and you can give yourself some color now if you do actually want to do some bulbs i'm going to show you what you can do now so you are now putting in your summer bulbs so the spring bulbs you put in autumn the summer bulbs you put any time from march onwards really well now it's almost march and you can do that i'm going to show you a couple which are my favorites so with this we've got all the dahlias now dahlias and here's another one it's a crocosmia that's the lucifer and if you see on there these ones actually go up to one meter 
So you've got to be very careful where you're going to be planting these bulbs. Um, each one's slightly different. Most of them are still neutral soils. Most of them are going to be shelter from the wind. Um, because they get so high, they can get snapped. But I tend to just pick one. I'll dot it around where you're going to go. So I really like the Lucifer. And uh, the other one is the Agapenthus. Again, they go really high, up to about 90 centimetres, and they look brilliant. Um, again, not too wet, um, and you can do that. And with the tubulars, what you'll do is once these dies down, a lot of people will actually take the tubulars out, store them over the winter, and then use them again next year. Or you're going to have to use a mulch on them to try and store them. Oh, one other little trick that you can use, which is a tool that we've got, is that it helps with your bulb planting, which is one of these, okay? On the side of it, it actually tells you the depth. So if you've got to go to 15 centimetres, it'll go there. You'll push it in, grab the soil, bring it out, put the bulb in, and then when you open it, all the bulbs will go, all the soil will come back out, and that's how you fill the hole. So a couple of little things just to announce on our part. We're actually going back to opening the restaurant side on a Tuesday. Um, so that's starting tomorrow. So all you people you want in your scones and all your cakes and it's on a brand new menu as well um which we're quite excited about so our spring menu and we're opening on a tuesday and also if anybody does ever need a little tour around the garden center we're quite happy to do that so if you want us to talk through some plants so you're not sure what you want to put in your garden and how you're going to do it we're quite happy to show you around and make sure you get the right plant in the right place and we'll do a little bit more explain on other things that we can do for helping you as well right well Thanks for that, guys. So that's the second video. Appreciate all your comments, like we said.